Hello everyone, Jason Wolf here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Rise of Three Kingdoms, a mod for Medieval 2 Total War. Now, I'm going to leave a link to where to get this mod. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to this page. Total War Center, this is where you get it. Uh, what Rise of Three Kingdoms is, is a mod that changes Medieval 2 Total War uh, into, well, a Chinese. A Chinese campaign, now, that's pretty cool. So you go here, Rise of Three Kingdoms, version 1.0, official release preview. Oh no, 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 you go to downloads, you go to downloads, which is an obvious thing. Now, there's several ways, links as you can see. One's for Torrent, another's Mediafire. I use the Mediafire one. Oh, before... I would recommend you gain before you get this far. I would recommend you gain Winwar. I use it uh, to get Winwar. You go Win. I'll probably leave a link to uh, to it. Come on, Winwar. Come on, go there. Okay, and you go to the official site, if you can find it. Official site. Okay, so go here. I'm going to leave the link down below so you can get it. Uh, and down here, you can get the latest, last updated version. Uh, choose which one you're from. Uh, so I... Uh, let's see. You get... Uh, I have a 30... I have a... For sixty-four, where's Romania? Well, find wherever you're from, whichever version: Japan, Italian, Danish, Dutch, English. Okay, so I would go for the sixty-four. Click that, download that, uh, install that, and then you will be ready for the, re the rest of the steps. So, if you want to pause the video now and do that, go ahead. I'll leave the link down below to f to this page. Now, if you got if you download WinRAR, go to these three parts here. Download them. Mediafire. Uh, you may or may not have to do this. Do 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 loading security question or security code. Happy is Larry. Happy is Larry. Remember that. Well, it might be different. Happy as Larry. That's a very interesting one. Okay, and then that will pop up. Just exit out. Don't worry about. Authorized download. So this should. So this is part one. Click download. Now I'm going to stop this because I already have it on the computer. So just click download and then view downloads to get it. Now do, okay, first off, download them all. Download all three. Do the same thing what you did there. It's basically the same. This is I'm just showing you how to download with Mediafire. I'm not going to do Torrent because I don't have Torrent. And what is this? Oh, forgot about this. Yeah, well, uh, that's a little odd. Now, download these three. And then, uh, go to your downloads because that's where all the files should be going. Uh, so you go File Explorer and you go Downloads. This is Windows 10, by the way, so this is where you'll find them. Now, I already got them, but they should be here somewhere. It's alphabetical, so find them wherever you need to. And place them onto, on top, in, or not on top, on your computer screen. Now, so you have these three. What you do is create a new folder. So you go new. Folder. And sorry if you hear barking in the background. We have a couple of puppies around the house. So just uh, back, backspace and right, 
Rise of Three Kingdoms. But I already have that. So I'm going to just delete that. So this is a folder I created. Uh, now what you do with that folder is you do this. You grab part one of Rise of Three Kingdoms. You go, Don't worry about that. Click that. Now see this part? Drag. Oops. That's not supposed to happen. Okay. Let's try this. There. Now click that and drag that into your Rise of Three Kingdoms folder. Okay. Let that load because it will take some time to load for it to get in there. And do that with when you're done there. Do that with the next three. Don't worry about that. It's just a little annoying. And drag the this folder into there. Do basically the same thing with all three. With these three. And again, ignore that. And then these three. And put them all into your Rise of Three Kingdoms folder that you've created on your desktop. Now that you're this far, click your folder. Click Three Kingdoms version 1.0 EXE. Click that. Okay. Click yes. And this will show up. Go to next installation. Next. I agree. Next. Now, for me, and this has immediately done this for me, so I don't need to do anything else. It's going to take the program to C, Program Files, 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and to my Medieval 2 Total War folder. Leave that there if you own Steam. Leave it. However, if you don't own Steam, or if not own Steam, if you don't own Medieval 2 on Steam, uh, like say you own it on disk or something, you need to locate that folder. Locate where Medieval 2 is. And then just keep it there. Or you go to find it, you go here, click this, and you can browse through your fold through your folders and shh please. Sorry about that. Uh f go through here, find out where it is, and click uh, go up to Medieval 2 Total War. Just click it. That should be the last thing you click and then let's see. Uh, and then press OK. Uh, and then go next. Then you go next. Let it w wait until it loads. Okay, and then you press start and let it load. It'll download into Medieval 2 Total War. Now, I'll show you right after I exit this program out. I've already installed it onto my computer computer or into my medieval 2 so I don't need to go through this process but just for you who's getting it press start and it'll download it where it should go so I'm just going to exit out because I already have it is that completed successfully okay so to go see what you do now what or download where is this now I've actually made a mod shortcut to my medieval 2 total war mods folder because that's where I have to, I have to sorry I have to go to my I have to actually go there and change my folders or put save files in there because I play a lot of hot seats anyway to go get there go to file explorer go down to gateway C programs a6 again this is for steam users no, not Star Trek Online. Steam. Steam Apps. Common. And you find Medieval 2 Total War. And then you go down to your mods section. And, yeah, you can see uh, you have a quite a few mods. Now, where is it? Three Kingdoms. And it should install there. This is all that you should have in there. So, it'll just base it'll install there. So, you don't need to go any extra. Just click that. And then it'll download it to the right place. Uh, what else? Also, I'm going to show you how to install the Chinese voices for or Three Kingdoms. Because some, well, some of you, if you don't want that, go ahead. You can play it now. Oh, 
let me show you first how it how to actually activate it. Now you go Steam. You go find do 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 where is it? Ah here. Medieval two Total War. Now you go properties. You go set launch options. You need dash dash features dot mods mod equals mods slash whatever mod you want to play. So in this case it'd be just gonna nope uh, not that. So it'd be now here's a quick way of doing it. Click this, right click it, press rename, copy, paste, and then press OK and close. And voila. That is how you and then press just gonna, Hmm. Oh, there. And then press play. Just leave him play Medieval 2 Total War. Press play and it should work for you. That is how you play it without the Chinese voices sub mod. Uh, with the Chinese. So if you don't want that, you can play it now. You're okay. Good job. Uh, if you want the Chinese voices sub mod, uh, that's not too difficult to install. So if you want to see that, watch the rest of this video. Now to get that, we have to. Okay, we have to go back. We have to go to, 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 to find it. Chinese voices sub mod. Okay. And it will also show the instructions on how to do it too. So if you wanted to look at that as well. So what it does is chi it adds Chinese voices from Age of Empires 3. The Asian Dynasties expansion. That's a good game. Anyway. Adds the Chinese voices from that. And adds them to merchants, scholars, diplomats, assassins, spies, fleets, generals. Generals change to pay on level, honor, and dishonor. That's cool. Captains when no generals in the army. Ladies or princesses. No Non-player factions all have Mongolian voices. Hmm. So what you do. You'll need both of these files. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have that one. What is this one? Oh, this is the text. So, click it. This is the same... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a media fire one. So, just download that. Do what you did with the uh, parts 1, 2, and 3 of Rise of Three Kingdoms. And put that on your desktop. Okay? I'll. You can pause the video while you do that. And I'll just continue. I'll. You need that part. Okay. So, if you download that part and put it on your desktop, you now need this. Now you need this. I'll just I've already done this, so but I'll just download it. I can always delete it again. And it should actually it voila. Or no. It's actually already downloaded now. Or not already downloaded, but it's downloaded pretty quickly. So there you should have it. Now what you do is go downloads. What is this? Oh, that was my save file for my hot seat campaign. Okay, I'm playing the Kingdom of Jerusalem. That, I can delete that because I don't need that. Okay. That's where that is. Enhance ma sama. Do 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 do. Again, sorry for the puppies. They're playing in the background. Ah, here it is. Accents. So, I'll put that on the desktop. I put differently uh descriptive sounds chinese voices now you can also follow the instructions here so you add add the text files to the rise of three kingdoms data folder so that means Okay, so what you do here is add these. Okay, where's the folder? Okay, so we're going here. So go to data. See all these text files, folders? Okay, click this and drag them into here. And override the do replace or override. 
the files. Now, I have to actually look at this because I haven't done this for a bit. So, uh, okay, do that. And then go sounds, voice. Voice, and then... The voice and add that to the... Did I really... Did I really exit that out? Did I really exit that out? Oh, well, that's not a problem. I have the mods. Full shortcut, so go here. Data packs. Uh, there should be sounds somewhere here. Ah, sounds. And drag the voice into this one. Into that folder. Folder. Actually, voice is already in here, so just drag that into sounds. Drag that into sounds. Uh, sorry, I have to keep looking at this because I actually haven't. Then delete the. Okay. Then you delete the. Okay, I think it must be in here. The voice dot. Huh. Oh, delete. Okay. So, delete these two. Delete these two. Delete voice dot and voice index. And delete events dot and e index. Delete those. Events and that. And that, that. Delete those four things. Okay, I already did, but that's probably because I played a little bit, and then they recreate these. So you probably need to do that. Uh, okay, and then you should be able to run your game. Now, okay, add. Now, about this one. Did I really just exit out of there? Okay. Go to data, and you should drag... Let's see. Yeah, drag this into here. Let me just give me a minute. I'm just going to see if I can find the exact one. Uh, sounds, accents, accents, accents. Ah, here it is. So, yeah, drag that into here. Or override whatever it needs. And then basically do the same thing here with these. Good. No, no, no. Cancel. Go to data and then drag these into there. Go sounds, and go sounds in here, and then just drag voice and put it in here, and then delete events stat events index, and voice stat and voice index, and run your game and your guys should be speaking Japanese or no Chinese Chinese Chinese. This is a Chinese Soul War, not Japanese. Okay, so that is how you do that. Hope you guys liked it. I hope it worked for you. I hope it works for you. If it doesn't, please comment down below. Uh, if it does work, please tell me. Uh, please, le please like the video so that and show your support. Uh, I think that's it. And if you want to see more videos made by me, please subscribe. Support the channel. And I think that's it. So until next time, I hope you guys have a good day.